Hello everybody, it is I, the Willowigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Pac-Man World Rally. Last time we beaten the Great Cup, although Arctic Iceberg did give us a bit of trouble. And what I mean, give us a bit of trouble, it decided, uh, the game decided to be a janky piece of shit and make, make me land in really bad spots. But, whatever. Uh, this time we have the Watermelon Cup. Uh, this time, let's go with the heavy character. You know what? I'm gonna flip a coin. Because I like Talk Man and Spooky a lot. But I don't know who to pick, so I'm just gonna. Heads for heads for Talk Man, Tails for Spooky, it landed on Tails, so. So we're going with Spooky. Which is actually you know what it's you know what this also works out? Well, Talk Man Factory and the uh, Spooky Castle are part of this uh, cup. Those are both really good, uh, courses. Now, this is where we get, like, start getting into double shortcuts. Let's ride into battle, Spooky. Yeah, so each course can have double shortcuts. So this one has a grape and a watermelon, uh, shortcut. You need the grape, you need to get grab the grape. <coughs> wow, already? Yeah, so... Well, there's a grape right there. Already! Blue bomb already. Jesus, what's going on? Hey, that was supposed to be my grape, you prick. Well... Oh, I, I just got the Gala uh, Galaga ship. Well, this... Well, this cup already started in chaos. Now I've yet to be able to grab a grape. And another blue bomb! See? Seriously? I want to at least be able to show off all the, all the shortcuts. Which I know is going to be impossible because uh, the last course of the game is really annoying with that. And the game was not willing to give me that grape. Luckily, he'll give me this one. I uh, didn't want to throw a forward game. Well, at least I'm far ahead from the, uh, or from the, uh, the chaos I was, uh, the rest of the cast. Anyway, here's the great shortcut. And through here, uh, also, Spooky has very bad handling. Right here is how you unlock watermelon. Let's grab a grape again so we can do that one. Also, because we're playing as a villain, we have pack devils protecting us. And we got ourselves a watermelon. So for so for the last lap, we can do all 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 two shortcuts. Hooray! You also get a watermelon right here, in case we didn't get any. The main downside about using the heavy characters is that their handling is hot garbage. And this is the other shortcut. Not too, not too flashy, but be careful, you can actually drive off into the water right there. Ooh, let's, let's go bully, uh, Pack Devil. Have, have fun. <coughs> have fun, loser. Yep. Next up is Talk Man's Factory. Really, really good course. Really, with a really good track. It also has one of the weirdest shortcuts. Like, I'll, I'll explain, like, I'll kind of explain more. For the longest time, I always see the cherry shortcut right there near the end of the track. And I don't know how to get the cherries. And then I recently figured out how you get to the cherries. Because you need to get... To the watermelon, uh. You 
Now, we don't get to the water watermelons until, like, later on through the course. But this course is quite something. <coughs> oh, come on. I just got out being frozen. Well, this is going to be annoying. I can already tell. Especially with the Galaga ships, most annoying item in the game. It's basically, it's basically you just get a Galaga ship and it just hits hit scan at your opponent. Anyway, hopefully we do not miss the warm melon here because there's only three laps. And I do want to show, try and show off all the uh, shortcuts. Bingo! They're ready. Now we just have to. Now I just have to figure out how to catch myself back up to first. That asshole stole my item! That asshole... Seriously, that asshole stole two item blocks. That should be illegal. I am starting to regret playing as a heavy character. And that guy stole my watermelon. Cool. Everything is getting stolen from me. Bloody brilliant. Come on, I just want my watermelon. Thank God already. Let's see what kind of magic we can do with this. Anyway, here's the Galaga ship. Yeah, so here's so here's the watermelon shortcut. It's way out of the way. And look at that, I'm back at third. That was a really helpful shortcut. Bullshit! And for some reason the game thought I was going backwards. How did I not how did I not get that watermelon? Okay. Cool. I guess... So far, I, I've just been being bullied because I'm playing as the big heavy man who cannot turn for shit. Oh, I have to play catch up somehow. Well, at least I got third, but... It's mainly those assholes below me that were really bu Like, they were getting in my way and shit. Ugh. Annoying. Really freaking annoying. I'm starting to- I'm starting to see... I'm starting to see where the game picks up its difficulty here on Nightmare. Anyway, this is another fun stage. Anyway, you go down this thing and you have this uh, little square area. You can actually fall, fall down like that. And I couldn't avoid it because I got hit by an item. Because the AI is actually being uh, annoying pricks and because they ruined my my drifting and I couldn't grab that grape cool thanks I got I get this is this is a whole lot of oh uh, there's too much to talk about and I missed that cool well so much well I'll say this much okay This game has... So far, this cup has done nothing but screw me over. Numerous times.
I, I can see why it's being called Nightmare now if, if you play as heavy characters. Specifically on this jump. Yeah, but this game really only has... Or this course really only has one actual shortcut. Um, 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 game? Excuse me? Excuse me. Let's try and get that watermelon. You're gonna turn. Nope, I got it. Wow, was not expecting to get that. So there's one actual shortcut. The other two quote unquote shortcuts, because there's a watermelon and then there's a cherry. Uh, the watermelon and cherry just disables obstacles, allowing you to move through it faster. And unfortunately, I do not have a grape, so I can't really use that shortcut. And I missed a watermelon, because it's way out of the way. Yeah, hopefully I can grab a grape. I said I wanted a grape, and the game said I do not get a grape. Lovely. Hey, at least I got the watermelon. Anyway, this is the cherry section. It would have disabled those, uh, those fire, man. And I could not turn out of the way. Lovely. Yep, and the watermelon will just disable that. I don't think I'm getting first place here because the game... Let's see here. I get hit by every single item. It's... it's... Oh, I guess, I guess now I'm in first. But me and this, but me and this asshole are here now. Yes, go backwards, you, you dipshit. Oh, I know, I know where the cherry is now. It's on the other side. Ah, oh, well. Cherry's not important. It's not really a shortcut. I showed you the one shortcut, the one actual shortcut in this map. Let's just do use this for shits and giggles because we we practically won. Oh, oh man, we actually screwed over Polka really badly. He went, he finished in fifth. Serves him right. Man, a bit stuffy to get today. Uh, with that, despite, despite everything that's been going on, I do actually love the courses in this game. Because, like, they're, they're so, they're so creative. Especially Spooky's Castle. This is probably my favorite course in the game. And, like, the only reason why I'm, the only reason why I am not enjoying my time playing right now is because, it's because the, it's because, well, one, I'm playing on Nightmare difficulty, where the AI, let's see. Let me just practice this jump here. Yep. Now, now that now there's a reason why I practiced the jump there, and once you once you real once you see it, because there's one shortcut I need to hopefully hopefully you can hit the grape that's down. Oh, it's right over here already. Okay, at least I made it over. And bingo, grab the other one. There's even like a big dragon and all that. There's but there but there are three shortcuts in this stage, and I missed the cherry, but eh. Oh come on, another one. If there's one thing I can complain about in this in this game is that the item distribution can be bullshit. Like Like seriously. Well, Anyway, let's see. Yes, I got it. Cool. Yeah, so a grape, a grape does fall right there. 
normally if you were normally if you were to drive just straight into it, you would just get hit by the uh, you would just or like you would just fall off. And this is how you unlock the watermelons right here. Now, unfortunately, I missed that cherry right there. And you do get a watermelon. Like pretty much, you get you get like the next set of fruit every time you go every time you go through. So let's this time let's grab the cherry. I'm gonna grab the. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna grab the fruit or the uh, the grape. And you do and you do gain a watermelon at the end here. But the watermelon shortcut is probably the most useful out of them all. So at this rate, I do not want to sound cocky, but we practically we practically just won the race. Now, no, now the regular difficulty is like easy, normal, hard. Uh, the AI can actually use shortcuts on this map because of the watermelon shortcut. And that's the shortcut for Cherry. Saves like maybe like a few seconds, maybe. And then here comes the watermelon shortcut, which I mentioned was the most useful one out of them all. That's why it's useful. It just sends you straight back to the beginning for you to complete another lap. Now, Blinky is somewhat behind me. Just like that, we have all the fruits ready, so we can just use all these shortcuts and get away from these maniacs. I might have got hit by that by that wing, but hey, at least I made it over. It's uh, falling off. I do not need to cherry anymore. I'll go this way, because he's, he's dead. Yeah. And, yeah, that's that. We might have lost again at Talkman Factory because... For whatsoever reason, but hey, we still got first place in the end, so... That's all I care about. That's all I care about. Ugh. And honestly, I still think this is way easier than uh, Expert Difficulty on Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. Because once you're far ahead of the, uh, of, once you're far ahead of the pack, they ain't gonna really be touching you. Or it's like in Sonic All-Stars Race Transform, like, I'm pretty sure there's actual clear rubber banding going on. In those games. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Uh, of course, that per usual, I'm gonna say this spiel. all... Uh, all the time when uh, if you enjoyed the episode uh, I mean you don't have to like but I definitely want but if you can subscribe that'll be very helpful uh, and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll do the classic cup uh, until then I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys later so uh, ciao